Support for Radio Friends comes from LaBrunerie Financial, where they work to ensure a lifetime of financial security for people from all walks of life, from investment services to retirement plans. If you're looking for a trustworthy company that has the experience and knowledge to put your interests first, contact LaBrunerie Financial, a community-based investment counseling firm since 1966. Learn more at labrunery.com or by calling 573-449-5313. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Monday, September the 9th. We've got Kathleen Lee back with us once again and she is feeling really great. You know, we, we had you on twice leading up to the heart of uh, America Marathon. Now it's over, and we wanted you to come back and talk about how it went. Yeah, thank you for helping us out, Paul. This has just been phenomenal. We are so excited. It went great. Yeah. Yeah, we had great support. You had a lot of people come, Mm -hmm. and uh, what would you say was the highlight of the whole thing? Well, uh, I mean, just seeing the uh, marathoners finish and celebrate the 60th, and we had the two of the sons and the grandson of the man who won the first marathon back in 1960. They ran the marathon, and all three of them finished in honor of their parents. So that was exciting and, and adds the, the culture and history to to what this race is. And then also we had our new fun team relay. And seeing teams get together and the community come around and support each other, it was just, I mean, the the sense of community and support yeah. was just phenomenal. When you came in here today, I, first thing I said was, how does it go? And she was just beaming. You were beaming from <laughs> ear to ear because you were so pleased with the, with the uh, turnout mm-hmm. that you had. And I'm, I'm, I'm really happy. I'm really happy for that. And you will have it again next year? Yes, yes. We'll head into uh, uh, 2020 and do our 61st. Yeah. So this was the 60th, and it was the biggest and best yet, wasn't it? I think so. Um, we more than doubled our numbers from last year. We incorporated the Fun Team Relay. We had a lot of good community um, come out and support. And, yeah. Well, Everybody I wish you time. continued success with that. Thank you. I, I did bring you a cooling towel, Paul. Oh, okay. This is what we give to the finishers at the end of the race. Yeah. And we soak this in ice water. And when they're all hot and tired and come across the You just the wrap it around line, your neck. You wrap it, it around and you can kind of cool off. So I'll use that cooling towel while I'm cutting grass. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Kathy Lee. All right. And then we will see you next year. Next year. Starting to promote the, the 61st. Heart of America Marathon. That's right. Thank okay. you so much for your help. You're welcome. And if you want more information on this, again, thank you, Kathy. You can go to ColumbiaTrackClub.com and get all of the information. And the event next year will be about the same time, right? Yeah, same time. Okay. And we'll talk to Kathy Lee as we get into that in 2020. That's hard to believe we're talking about 2020. <laughs> Nick Foster just popped in here from Voluntary Action Center. Good to have you here, Nick. Thank you so much, Paul. It's good to see you. Yeah. Uh, now, it, it seems like we're going the whole cycle, aren't we? We're back now. Even though we're we're in September, you're starting to talk about the holidays. Well, that's right. It comes around really, really quickly. I think that we all agree about that every single year. It's hard to believe that it comes around so quickly. But I I, I sort of get used to it, don't you? I mean, it just it, it comes around that fast every the year. Older you just you sort get, of agree to it. It's true. Uh, the older you get, the faster time goes. It does. It seems to uh, be true. I've, I've kind of gotten used to that. Some years ago, I, I got used to that being true. I just sort of accept it as, as oh. being the reality. So this has been how would you classify this year for Voluntary Action Center? Well, it's a big year for us. It's our 50th anniversary. We were formed in 1969. So we've been celebrating our anniversary all year long. In fact, in October, on October the 3rd, we're going to have a celebration of our 50th, our 50 years of service in this community. And yeah. so we're looking forward to that. So what are you going to do on October 3rd? We're going to have an event out at Burr, or, Burr Oak Brewery. And uh, we're inviting all of our supporters to come out and have a birthday party with us. We're going to have games and birthday cake. And we're just going to have a party. Yeah. It's yeah. going to be a lot of fun. How many people have you helped this year do you have uh oh wow uh you're catching me off guard there a little bit we we normally serve about seven thousand people every year Mm. but uh last year we began to recognize actually over the past several years we've been recognizing an increase in demand and we don't really know why that is true but we became a little bit distressed because at the end of every day 
we were seeing that there were people that were in the lobby still that we were just not going to be able to see that day. So what do you do? What I mean, what, that's got to be hard wrenching. It is. It's very frustrating. When you're, 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 the day is over and you still have people that are asking for help. Right. And and you can't you can't assist them that. Well, day. we we took a we took a risk. We hired someone else to help us. We added a position. Uh, to uh, provide more capacity to provide services during the day. And that has had an impact. And so when you ask me how many people we've served so far this year, uh, I can't remember the exact number, but we do anticipate that by the end of this year we're going to serve more people this year than last year. And last year we came just short of 7,000 people. This year we anticipate that we're going to serve uh, upwards of 8,000 people because we've added that other Mm -hmm. position to provide those services. And it's working, by the way. We're not seeing the kind of uh, folks at the end of the day that we have to turn away that we were seeing mm-hmm. last fall. So that's gratifying. Now, with the holidays coming up, uh, it's, it's an exceptionally busy time. It is. What are you yeah. asking the community to do to help out during the holidays? Well, a lot of people in our community know about our holiday program. Uh, have been We've been doing this for a long, long time, for decades now, and a lot of people have been participating in, in it for a long time. But there are other people in our community who don't know about it. I think, you know, I mentioned that there were, were a lot of people that we were not seeing at the end of every day. Uh, even though there's good signs about our economy, I think that all of us have this nagging sense that there are still people who are struggling, and that is true. Uh, one of the places that they struggle for a lot of families that we serve is in providing for their children during the holidays. And so that's what we do with this program. And a lot of people in our community, especially at the holidays, there is this natural sense to help, to give. And what VAC provides with this program is an opportunity to do exactly that. Uh, right now, we're signing up families in our community who can use help during the holidays. They're coming to our office, and they're making application to be part of that program. And they're giving us information about their families, why they need help, what their families are, how their families are made up, and the kinds of things that their children would like to have for the holidays. Which they can't afford to provide. Which they can't afford to provide. Right, a lot of right. these folks are managing to get by. Uh, some of them are barely managing to well, get by. Well, barely managing to get by week to week. But when it comes to providing for the children in this way, they're just unable to do it. And so uh, they look to us to help. So we, in turn, turn to people in the community who adopt these families and sponsor them, and we'll pass on that information to them. So we ask people in the community to either go online and sign up online to be a sponsor or to call us at 573-874-2273 and sign up to be a sponsor. And we can sign up your office, we can sign up your Sunday school class, uh, your family, uh, you as an individual, and and have you to be a sponsor for one of these families or multiple families during the holidays. So if people want more information, if you want to help out, or if you need assistance yourself, what's the telephone number? 874-2273, or go to our website, backmo.org. You can click on a banner. There's right there at the top of the page for more information about the holiday program. And you can sign up online also. You you, you need to uh, come to our office to sign up uh, to be a family sponsored, but you can sponsor uh, right there online. Okay. Nick Foster, thank you so much for coming by. Thank you, Paul. We're out of time. We'll see you tomorrow. PepperPMissouri.edu. Bye-bye.